drunken streetwalker, Sabbath Hawks, fell out of a boxcar outside of a nearby dry county when she met the traveling salesman the sex boat. He was out on bail for mysterious charges involving a small ectotherm and a brass quartet, the records for which have mysteriously disappeared. And this is when they decided to devise their master stroke. Hoodwink the corrupt Reverend Thurgood Calhoun to plunder his spoils. Disguised in choir robes, Lily picked the locks with her hat pins, and the hungover duo infiltrated his holy hideout, only to find Calhoun illegal still, and an evil underground nun brother. In a fit of fury, Sabbath Hawks flew with the altar and subdued Calhoun using only his clerical collar and a strategic spray of holy water. But she was knocked unconscious by a sinister raven that careened from an organ pipe. Meanwhile, Lamont had surreptitiously descended back into the nun dungeon. And unable to resist the sirens, things seemed mildly grim for him. Until his trusty she wolf burst in the church and began to rend his appendages. Regaining his senses, Lamont donned the collar and commanded the zombie nun whore. The she-wolf had graciously begun to thrash Lily's feet to rouse her when Lamont entered with the trail of hypnotized harlots. Bruised and blood-soaked, the pair proclaimed Lamont the new fraudulent reverend, and they vowed to empty the still and bring in as much cash as possible to make their getaway.
my buddy living slave. Oh, we don't know your name.